what up welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Alif and in this tutorial video I'll be teaching you guys how to color correct and color grade your video with Vegas Pro 17. Now if you're new to this channel I mainly do Vegas Pro tutorials content so you can subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell icon to receive Vegas Pro tutorials in the future. Alright so anyway I actually um, already make a two separate videos previously on color correction and color grade with Vegas Pro but I feel that video is a bit outdated plus the newer version of Vegas Pro 17 have its own dedicated coloring panel which looks something similar that you would see in DaVinci Resolve and it also significantly reduced the amount of effects chain used to color correct uh, and color grade your video uh, here in Vegas Pro 17. So anyway um, I'm working with an S Lock 2 footage, it means this video here was shot in lock color profile. And to be precise, the gamma of this video is S Gamma 3 CNE. Now, for those who just wanted to learn on color correction and color grade, you don't have to must shoot um, lock color profile. If you are just shooting on your smartphone, you can just follow along this tutorial because even a smartphone uh, videos, you still need a bit of correction. It's just that not much of correction need to be done like in this uh, log, uh, log footage here that I'm working in the timeline right now, all right? So um, let's add the color grading panel here. So you just go to the video effects, go to Vegas, and just search for an effect called the color grading and drag and drop it into our media. And make sure you highlight the media itself and go to the bottom right, you have this tree dot icon here, click that, and now you are inside the dedicated coloring panel. So for a first time user, you might think it's a bit overwhelming, uh, but it's actually very simple and you can think of it as the color correction effects, the color curve effects, the level effects, the lookup table effects, the HSL, everything combined together into one effects, right? So you do all your tweak and adjustment here instead of adding multiple effects, which I just said earlier, um, it significantly reduces the amount of effects chain used to color correct and grade your video. All right, so let's start off with the first step on the far left here. We got the input loot. Now, if you pay attention here, it's called it camera loot. We got another one here called look loot. And instead of camera loot, it just labeled as look lookup table here instead. All right, so the LUT stands for lookup table. So why you have two uh, LUT here? So the first one here I used to convert or transform your log footage into a certain um, profile for example I'm using the S camera tree I can just import that lookup table from Sony website and convert it into rec 709 now this is something complex you don't have to know much about it and the look loot here uh, which look 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 at table man it's so hard to pronounce it's um, primarily used to uh, add a certain filter that you want uh, for example the m21 lookup table this is where you apply all right because the way this color panel work is from left to right, all right? So let's go to the color wheel here. Now the color wheel is basically the grading panel. This is where you do your color grading. And um, the slider on the bottom here control the uh, the shadows, the midtones, and the highlight. And you can also got the offset tools here on the right side. And then the color channel are basically corresponding with the color wheel. It's the same uh, thing here, what you see on the side of the uh, color wheel here. So let's just say if I make some tweak on the gamma, you can see the red, green, and blue uh, value here are changing. Same goes to the color channel here, it changed. So this is more like a precise uh, adjustment if you wish to, instead of using color wheel, but I don't want to do that. So if you want to reset, just double click and it will reset back. And then the input and output, you have the levels here, and then you get the independent control like the saturation and exposure. And if you slide here, uh, you bring out another tab, which is the color curve. Uh, I think we all know what the curve really does. And then the HSL, uh, basically uh, the, the hue and saturation and luminance control. And then again, look up table. And then on the very far right, the finishing you got the bypass color grading uh, which you can disable and enable the color grading to to see the before and after then you can add the bezier mask which uh, mainly used to motion track and you know mask out for a certain color 
and then you can reset all of the uh, settings that you have made here in the panel and then finally you got the export loot which uh, you can actually export loot based on the settings that you have made in this panel all right so whatever setting that you have made in this panel you can export it to your computer and then finally you got the exit button for you to exit from the coloring panel to the Vegas Pro main uh, user interface Alright, so let's go back to the coloring panel just by clicking this icon here. And so let's start with our main tutorial which is color correction. So when you want to color your video, the first thing that you want to start off is correction. Then only you go to color grade which is the last step where the grade is basically um, altering the video look to a specific look that you're looking for. That's based on personal taste. But correction is basically a first step fixing your video color and exposure and all that stuff to make it look natural as possible as what we see with the human eye so that's the goal so let's just say um, I will go here now right now this video here is very warm that's a lot of yellow and stuff here so I remember when I shooting this video this wall here is white this table here is white so our goal here is to make that table and wall look exactly as what I see it when I recording this uh, this is my friend here so I want to make this wall white as how it's supposed to be so that's the goal here so to color correct you need sort of um, a tools or a guide tools for you to check whether it's correct or not so this is where we use uh, video scopes so to enable video scope just go to the view I go to Windows and press video scopes and it will launch the video scope here in this in this separate panel here. I like my video scope to attach together with the panel here, so I just extend it out so I have a better viewing on what I seeing here on the video scope. So the video scope have four primary scopes. So I just go one by one. The vector scope tells you the amount of saturation in your video. The waveform tells you the amount of luminance in your video and which part is brighter and darker. So for example, this window here is um, bright. I can tell this is the window part and this uh, wall over here are quite dark and I can tell here from this waveform, which is this is the wall itself, right? The histogram uh, tells you the amount of contrast in the video and the RGB parade tells you uh, whether your video is balanced or not. So right now it's warm, you can see the red uh, is more dominant over the green and blue. So let's start off with the waveform because I like to correct my uh, exposure first with uh, whenever I color correct my video. So to, uh, to fix the exposure or adding the uh, contrast in our video, you can either use the color wheel slider on the bottom here or just use color curve all right there's no right or wrong on how to fix this uh, all depends on your per personal preference so i like to use the color curve instead of using the color wheel slider here it's still the same this is like the faster way so um if you want to use the color wheel you just simply press one click on the slider and press control while holding control and use your mass wheel to make a one fine tune adjustment all right so our goal here is to make sure this waveform here expand out until it touch zero and hundred so whatever exceeding hundred and beyond zero is actually clipping it which means you have no details for that so right now I know my video is actually overexposed so if I try to recover this it's actually impossible to recover because there's no detail on this part but I do have a details on the shadow so I can just bring it down until it barely touch the zero. Alright, and then let's bring down our um, our uh, highlight here so that it just nicely sit on the 100 here. Alright, and um, I personally like to use the color curve because it gives more control and flexible. So I want this bottom part here to be darker and the gamma higher. So just use the uh, curve here and then I pull it down and pull up this upper part. You can see if I stretch in a certain way, it only affects the mid-tones but not on the highlight because I just pulling and make this sort of shape here. It's really hard for me to explain but you can explore by yourself. And instead of pulling like this, I can just pull small amount 
and I know only this certain part is affected all right now I don't want my again I don't want uh, all of my blacks exceeding uh, zero so I'm just gonna bring it a bit up and bring back to the color curve I mean go back to color curve and pull it down uh, this is where I'll use the level instead so that it'll just bring the entire stuff up and if I go to color curve I know it won't exceed anymore because it's basically I already put sort of a wall between the zero here and even 100 if I want to from the levels uh, input here right so let's just bring down the uh, output max to 0 0.98 this one a bit up more and I think we are good you can see how I just try to get the most detail out of it on this waveform now I like how my uh, video look like right now the exposure I think is all look good now if you nail your waveform you should also nail your Instagram so I like how my uh, contrast currently look uh, right now in my video so I think that's done so let's fix the um, the color itself which is it's very warm so our goal here is to balance out the color now for those who are using the older version of Vegas, obviously you, you will use the color wheel here which is it resemble exactly like the color correction but it label as color wheel. So how do you color correct if you use the color wheel for color grading? So this is where you use the color curve again. If you pay attention, you got the red, green and blue. It's exactly the same over here. Okay, So the lift control this bottom part here which is your shadows. The gamma control the midtones and the gain control the highlight. Same goes to the color curve. The bottom part here control the shadows. The middle part here control the um, the midtones and the upper part here control the highlight. It's the same, but you can independently control the red, green, and blue for each channel here in the RGB parade, which is simple to use, right? So um, let's start off with the red channel here because we have too much of red in our midtone so just enable the red and you can see the red line appear in the curve so let's bring it down around here I think around this value here which is 145 that's great now let's add some blue in our video so let's disable the red and turn on the blue and bring it up and you can see how our video now look white as how it's supposed to be and um, I think we need to reduce in a bit of the blue shadows so let's bring it down a bit and uh, yeah just a few tweaks on the red and green now we already fixed the video look how simple is that and we are done and finally let's add some saturation just go to the vector scope and go to the input and output and I like my saturation sit within around the 60 range here so let's just punch it up a bit and we are done alright so if you are not satisfied how your video look like you can always fine tune again so I think that's uh, too much of green in our video so let's go to green bring it down a bit and go to the blue channel here let's add it up more Alright, so I already done fine tune the uh, color here so now it look more natural and uh, once you're done color correcting your video now you can finally go to the color grading uh, part right so in this video I'll be just teaching you guys on how to make the classic uh, the most well-known color grading which is either cool warm or the classic green look right so uh, let's start off by making a warm look in our video so let's start off with the game which is the highlight so let's add a bit of the uh, a bit of the warmth to our highlight now here are quick tips uh, if you just press and move it around with your mouse you can see how much of tune we have made so to make a small adjustment hold control and just click and move around you can see how small the control that we have made here in the color wheel right so let's add a bit of the uh, warmth to the highlight section and also a bit of warmth in the gamma which is the mid tone just a slightly touch 
small touches should do and let's add some bit of blue in the shadows you can also use the RGB braid to tell whether it's your video have the correct amount of uh, warm if you want to but usually when it comes to color grading you don't really need to refer the video scopes uh, much as color correction unless you are working with multiple footage that have a different sort of a look then you might want to consider to check from the parade and stuff like that but I'm not going to teach you guys that is more advanced stuff so uh, again let's add some bit of warmth here in the highlight and some small touches on our gamma here and here we got some warm look in our video so now let's try to make it cool so just double click all of this to reset it and let's add some bit of blue in our um, in our highlight and then a bit of blue in the gamma and we are pretty much done that's it small fine tune and you got a cool look in our video now if you want some uh, the classic green film look um, this is how I do I just add a bit of form in my highlight bring a bit of green in my midtones here and a bit of green touches on the shadows as well it's just a small tweak and it should make your video look like the film that you often see and there you go we are done so if you press exit you can see how our video look right now right so that's how you color correct and color grade your video with Vegas Pro 17 and if you like this tutorial you can uh, leave some thumbs up and I might consider make a more advanced color um, grading and correction tutorial in the future right so hope you guys learned something and see you guys next time